The next 7-star Terror Raid event has officially been announced for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and this time, we're focusing on none other than Secret Agent Boy himself, Inteleon, with an Ice Terror type this time. So with that being said, let's take a quick look at some builds that you can use to absolutely dominate our Icy Foe in the upcoming Terror Raids. Let's get to it. Now, before we get into talking about builds, let's take a look at Inteleon here. So we can see that right now, Inteleon is you know, just plain water typing, but we do know that this will have an Ice Terror typing as well. Oh, as well. So that could make things. Mm, this could make this raid pretty interesting. Uh, as far as stats go, Inteleon really doesn't have a whole lot of super impressive stats. His special attack is ridiculously high, so we can pretty safely say that this is going to be a guaranteed special attacker. Uh, and Inteleon's speed is absolutely just—it's insane. Uh, so this is going to be a very fast Pokemon. This might be uh, very reminiscent of Greninja raids for those of you that got to experience that torture. Um, so, with that being said, and knowing our stats and everything that we have on the screen right here, let's take a look now at some builds that we could use to absolutely dominate this raid and take down Inteleon as easily as possible. And just as a side note, before we get to builds, Inteleon's ability will not be Torrent. I can about guarantee his ability is going to be Sniper, which just means that crits are going to hit way harder than they normally do. So, make sure you're prepared for that. All right, and ladies and gentlemen, for this Terror Raid event, we really have five super solid choices right off the bat that stand out as some of the best Pokemon that you'll be able to use for this raid. Now, uh, these are just Pokemon. I'll show you the builds in just a second, but we're going to be focusing on Tinkaton, Bronzong, Magnazone, Umbreon, and of course, everybody's favorite raid Pokemon, Iron Hands, for this raid. So, with those out of the way, let's take a look at these Pokemon individually and see exactly what the stats look like for these so that you can get these built to take on Inteleon later this week. And so, starting off, let's take a look at everybody's favorite Gen 9 fairy Pokemon, Tinkaton. Uh, Tinkaton has been one of those Pokemon that everybody loves but hasn't gotten a lot, in, a lot of time in the spotlight lately. So, now it's Tinkaton's time to shine. So, for Tinkaton, we're looking at a level 100 Tinkaton. Shell Bell is the held item, obviously. It's what we do with these. Terra type is Fairy. We're looking at our moveset as Gigaton Hammer, Swords Dance, Helping Hand, and Brick Break with our EVs split as 100 EVs in our HP, max EVs in our physical attack, and then 156 EVs in our special defense since we know that Inteleon's going to be a special attacker. As far as IVs go, we're going to IV train everything on this, and we want to make sure that we have the ability Mold Breaker. Uh, Tinkaton's one of those. It's... Not super high on the list, that's why it's first, it's pretty low, but it has a solid chance of being just devastating in this raid if it actually works out. So, and obviously for this one, we're going to have an adamant nature. But this is it. This is, uh, this is Tinkaton. So this is the build that you would use to take on Inteleon. And with that, let's move on to Bronzong. Moving on and looking at Bronzong, we can see that Bronzong, obviously we're going to need to be level 100 for this one. Uh, we're going to have the Terra type of Steel for our Bronzong with a held item of the Shell Bell, and our ability is going to be Levitate on this guy. Uh, as far as moves are concerned, we're going to have Metal Sound, Calm Mind, Flash Cannon, and Helping Hand. Bronzong is one of those that it's going to be both a good attack Pokemon as well as a good support Pokemon as well. Now, as far as EVs and IVs go, we're going to dump four of our EVs into our HP for Bronzong. We're going to dump max EVs into our special attack and max EVs into our special defense because as we know we're definitely going to need max special defense on this I mean there's no getting around it it's it's just going to have to be the way that it is we're also going to be sporting a modest nature and we're going to IV train honestly everything but if you don't want to waste bottle caps skip physical attack on this one because we're definitely not going to be a physical attacker here Okay. And that's Bronzong. Bronzong is going to be, like I said, a solid choice as both an attack Pokemon and a support Pokemon with that helping hand ability to be able to make things a lot easier during online raids. Because as we know, online raids for seven stars tend to be a little chaotic. So Bronzong looks like a solid choice. With that, let's move on and take a look at our next guy, Magnazone. Now, as far as Magnazone is concerned, we're obviously level 100 still because it is a 7-star raid. Our Terra type is Steel, and our ability is Analytic on this one. Item again is the Shell Bell because restoring HP is super important. 
And depending on how things work out, this may change. Our move set for Magnazone is going to be Flash Cannon, Light Screen, Metal Sound, and Helping Hand. Again, a super solid attack and support Pokemon. Just super well balanced for these or for this raid. As far as our EVs and IVs are concerned for this, we're going to want to make sure that we dump four EVs into our HP and then max EVs into our special attack and special defense to make sure that we can withstand those critical hits that Inteleon is sure to throw our way. We're going to have a quiet nature on this one, which is one that we don't see very often, but it's going to work because this is plus special attack and minus speed. We don't need to worry about being super fast during this raid. We're definitely not going to outspeed Inteleon. Uh, as far as IVs go, again, you could IV train everything, but if you want to save yourself a bottle cap, make sure and just, you know, don't IV train physical attack because we're definitely a special attacker on this. But that's Magnazone. Super solid, well-rounded support and attack Pokemon that honestly is probably going to end up being the king of Inteleon raids this week. But with that, let's move on. Let's take a look at another super solid Pokemon in Umbreon. Now, as far as Umbreon is concerned, we're going to want to make sure that Umbreon ha is level 100. Again, 7-star raid, kind of a, a required at this point. Our terror type is dark, our ability is synchronized, and our held item for this one is going to be the leftovers. We're going to go for that gradual uh, restore of health rather than focusing on attack for this one. Now, as far as moveset is concerned, we're going to have fake tears, taunt, helping hand, and light screen. This is pretty much a straight-up support Pokemon. And the only difference we're going to look for here is if we have a team of special attackers in online, we're going to be using fake tears uh, in this moveset. If, however, you have a team of physical attackers, you're going to want to swap fake tears out for Screech. It just kind of depends on what that online raid looks like. As far as EVs and IVs go, however, we're going to dump max EVs into our HP for Umbreon and max EVs into our special defense because... We're going to need to tank a lot of shots here. Uh, and we're also going to dump those last four EVs into our speed with a calm nature. So, special defense up and attack down. IV-wise, we're going to IV train everything except our physical attack on this Umbreon. And that's pretty much it. Umbreon, like I said, is going to be a super solid support Pokemon. Probably not going to be very useful solo, but again, online raids, this one's going to be a lifesaver because we all know how toxic online raids can get from time to time and with that it's time to look at our last boy and this is the big one iron hands and last but not least ladies and gentlemen the pokemon everybody wants to use for every single terror raid spotlight finally gets his chance to shine we're talking about iron hands now level 100 obviously seven star raid terror type is fighting on this guy the ability is quirk drive our item is the booster energy so we can activate that quirk drive immediately our moveset for this one is going to be Drain Punch, Sword Stance, Belly Drum, and Fake Out. Uh, super offensive moveset that we're looking at here for Iron Hands. As far as EVs and IVs are con concerned, however, we're going to dump four EVs into our HP, max EVs into our physical attack, max EVs into our special defense to give us the best chance of surviving those crits that Inteleon's pretty much guaranteed to deal at this point. And we're going to make sure that we have an adamant nature. So, physical attack up, special attack down. And IVs for this one, everything. Straight across the board. We want to give this guy the best chance we can of dominating this raid. Personally, I know everybody wants to use Iron Hands in every single 7-star raid that's been out so far. Now's your chance to use him. Make this one. Get out there. Show Inteleon who's boss. But that's Iron Hands. Odds are you probably have one of these guys built already. Uh... Maybe things are switched around a little bit and you don't have everything invested into special defense, but this one, super easy build to make, should take you no time at all, and you will be out there dominating Inteleon on day one. And that's it. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is five super solid raid-ready builds for you to use against Inteleon later this week, four of which are good attack and support Pokemon, one of which is a strictly support Pokemon for online raids, and all five geared towards Inteleon to take on take him on with that ice terra type. Inteleon's probably going to be pretty difficult uh, considering how fast he is and the fact that his sniper ability is going to make those crits hit really really hard. So make sure and stay tuned because we'll have more builds coming out this week as we go along. 
Uh, and remember, you got this. Get these builds done. I believe in you guys. I do want to give a special shout out to uh, one of my mods, Dylan, for helping me get these together as quick as we did. Now, get out there. Get ready to go. Let's stomp Inteleon into the ground. See you guys in the next video.